possibly habitable planet is found near our solar system August 2, 2019. A warming planet discovered by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite test has pointed the way to additional worlds orbiting the same star one of which is located in the star's habitable zone. Possibly habitable planet is found near our solar system. Artistic representation of the planet possibly inhabitable in orbit of the star GJ357 at 31 light years. NASA if it is rocky, this planet can be twice the size of the Earth. The new worlds orbit a star called GJ357, an M-type dwarf star about one-third the mass and size of the Sun and about 40% colder than our star. The system is located only 31 light-years away in the constellation Hydra. In February, test cameras captured the star by slightly darkening every 3.9 days, revealing the presence of a transiting exoplanet, a world beyond our solar system, that crosses its star's face during each orbit and briefly obscures the star. Starlight Raphael Luke a doctoral student at the Canary Islands Institute of Astrophysics IAC in Tenerife, who led the discovery team, said, In a way, these planets were hidden in measurements made in numerous observatories for many years. It took TESS to point us to an interesting star where we could discover them. The transits observed by TESS belong to GJ 357b, a planet about 22% larger than Earth. It orbits 11 times closer to its star than Mercury makes our Sun. This provides an equilibrium temperature, calculated without regard to the additional warming effects of a possible atmosphere, of about 254 degrees Celsius. Co-author Enric Paul, an IAC astrophysicist and Luke's doctoral supervisor, said, We describe GJ 357b as a hot land. Although it cannot host life, it is noteworthy the third best known transit exoplanet and one of the best rocky planets we have to measure the composition of any atmosphere it may possess. But as the researchers analyzed the data to confirm the existence of the warm Earth, they discovered two additional worlds. Possibly habitable planet is found near our solar system on NASA slash Goddard Space Flight Center slash Chris Smith the planet discovered farthest from its star, called GJ 357 d is especially intriguing. Diana Kosakowski, co-author of the Max Planck Institute of Astronomy in Heidelberg, Germany, said GJ 357d is located within the outer edge of its star's habitable zone, where it receives approximately the same amount of star energy from its star as Mars receives from the Sun. If the planet has a dense atmosphere, it will take future studies to determine it could retain enough heat to heat the planet and allow liquid water to exist on its surface. Without an atmosphere, it has an equilibrium temperature of minus 64 C, which would make the planet more glacial than habitable. The planet weighs at least 6.1 times the Earth's mass and orbits the star every 55.7 days at a distance of about 20% from the Sun. The size and composition of the planet is unknown but a rocky world of this mass ranges from about one to two times the size of the Earth. Even with TESS monitoring the star for about a month, Luke's team predicts that any traffic would have occurred outside TESS's observation window. GJ 357c, the middle planet, has a mass at least 3.4 times that of Earth, orbits the star every 9.1 days at a distance slightly more than twice the planet in transit and has a temperature equilibrium around 127 C. TESS has not observed the transits of this planet, suggesting that its orbit is slightly inclined, perhaps less than 1 degree, from the orbit of the hottest planet on Earth, so it never passes the star of our perspective. To confirm GJ 357b's presence and discover its neighbors, Luke and his colleagues turned to the existing measurements of the star's radial velocity, or the speed of its movement along our line of sight. An orbital planet produces a gravitational pull on its star, which results in a small movement, a reflection that astronomers can detect through small color changes in starlight. Astronomers have been searching for planets around bright stars using radial velocity data for decades, and they often make these long, accurate observations publicly available for use by other astronomers. Luke's team has examined soil-based data since 1998 at the Southern European Observatory and Las Campanas Observatory in Chile, the WM Keck Observatory in Hawaii, and the Calor Alto Observatory in Spain, among many others.